In this video, we're gonna learn how to do explosions in Pico 8, like this. It's gonna be fun. So the way this works is with particles. This is all drawn with code, and so let's take it from the top. During our init function, we're gonna make a new table called EXPs, short for explosions. This is just a blank table. You can think of this as just like a box that holds all of the particles. We also have a table of colors, which we'll get to in a minute. During the update for every frame, we're doing a for loop. What this does is it each particle and it animates it on the X axis and the Y axis. It will also scale it up and down and it will also take away its life and animate its color. Now, if none of that makes any sense yet, it's because all the magic happens when we hit the X button here. So what we're gonna do is set a random location on the screen, somewhere on the X axis between zero and 128 and the Y axis between zero and 128. So it might pick here, 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 whatever. But basically we're going to pick a random spot when we hit X. Then we have another for loop. What this does is it just repeats all of this 20 times which means that it's going to make 20 particles. When we make a particle, we're adding a particle to our table, our EXPs table. And we're creating a particle with a bunch of properties here. So it has an X property, a Y property, a speed X, a speed Y, a scale, and a life. Speed X, speed Y, scale, and life. And when we hit the X button, what it does is it sets all of these variables. X is going to be whatever XP is. So that's going to be a random number. So let's say it's 60. Y is going to be whatever YP is, which might be a random number like 30. Speed is going to be a random number between negative one and one. So maybe it's 0.6. Speed Y is going to be the same thing, random number between negative one and one. And that's going to be, you know, 0 0.9, let's say. Scale is going to be two plus a random number of five. So it could be anywhere between two and seven. So maybe that's six and life is going to be five. So it's going to do this 20 times for 20 of these little particles. And it's gonna put it right where this XP and YP is, 20 different particles. And then every frame on update, we're going to loop through all of the particles. So all 20 of those particles, so let's just draw some here, whole bunch of particles. And every single particle is going to animate on X and on Y. The scale is going to animate, the life is going to animate, and the color is going to animate. So the scale is going to go down by 0.1 each frame. The life is going to go down by 0.1 each frame. And each one of these particles was born with a random size and a random speed on X and Y. So basically when we push a button, we are setting up all of the particles with a set of properties. And we're also telling each particle to animate based on those properties. Then in the draw function, we clear the screen and then we loop through the particles again and we draw a circle based on those properties. So a circle that's gonna be at X and Y, it's going to have the scale of the particle and it's going to be the color of the particle. Now the colors are gonna be one of these values right here in this table. Basically we're going to start with this color and then over the life of the particle, we're going to switch it to these colors. So it starts with seven, and then it goes to 10, nine, five, which corresponds to this, seven, which is white, and then 10, nine, and then five. So it goes white, yellow, orange, gray. So all of those things are happening for each particle. Because each particle has a random speed on X and Y, they're going to fly all over the place. And because they are scaled randomly, there's gonna be a bunch of different sizes of particles moving in different directions. And they're all gonna be born right at the same place at the same time, and then fly wherever they want. And every frame, we're going to make each particle smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And each particle is going to get older and older and older and older. And because it's getting older, it's going to change color. And eventually when its life is gone, then we're just going to delete it from this table. So all of that goes together to make this. So what we're really doing is making a whole bunch of colored circles, one here, one here, one here, and so on. And they're just kind of randomly flying around and getting smaller. And because they all started in one place and they're randomly flying around like this, it kind of looks like an explosion. Isn't that cool? By the way, the sounds look like this. So we have this sound, this sound, this sound, and this sound. You pretty much just make a little ramp like this and a little ramp like this. Hold shift and click this pink one and turn that speed down to like two. There we go. And then I'm just picking one of these sounds to play when we hit this X button. 
So let's add this sound in there. So now we have four random sounds. So that's how you can add some explosions to your Pico 8 games. If you're just getting into Pico 8, I have a free workshop right there. You can learn a whole bunch about Pico 8, okay? Thanks for watching.